friend come along with us to do two really cool things today, but first, in case you didn't know, we bought a house. And if you don't know that, then you should definitely go watch all of our shorts that we've posted because we have made a lot of updates through YouTube Shorts, so make sure you go check those out. But what we're going to be doing today is, first of all, we need to pick some new cabinet colors. Um, we have a whole lot of dishes and things like that set out on the counter because unfortunately we had a bit of a mouse problem. We have to clean out all of our cabinets and everything now because of that. And we figure if we're gonna do that, we might as well pick cabinet colors. Do you want more coffee? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm gonna show you the second thing that we're gonna do. So for the second thing, this is our guest room and as you can see we have a blue recliner here and a blue comforter that is supposed to go on this bed but we actually had a guest stay with us so i washed it and just haven't remade the bed anyway we found this painting and how perfect is this i mean look at the blue colors and then it has like little shades of like pinks and purples and things and i just feel like this frame would look so good painted gold. We found this for $15 at Goodwill. So we decided that since we have the blue recliner, we have a blue comforter for the guest bed, we might as well go with a bit of a blue and gold theme. So come along with us to pick out some gold paint so we can paint this frame. Like these are too cold. Those are too cold? These are too cold, right? Yeah, I think they're too cold. It needs to have like more of an earthy feel to it. Vintage gold? I think that I think that works right. Yeah, it looks nice. I right, wanna do it? Mm -hmm. Alright, cool. I think we found a good cabinet paint color. We're gonna try it. It's called wood smoke. Yeah, that doesn't look bad at all. Mm -hmm. All right, so and part of the process as well is like normally you would sand down the spot, but we're just going to put it on the cabinet just to test it out, right? Well, yeah, I mean, wouldn't we just prime it anyway? True. Normally? You're, you're right. We'd it's have to sand it down and prime it. and have then, to sand it? Well, for paint to stick well, you have to sand it down. But just to put the color on, we, we can don't try it. sand walls or anything. Yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Maybe we don't think <laughs> how this goes. I'm nervous. Oh, wow. That's a nice color. So let me see if I can get a good shot for the back. Imagine if that color right there was all the cabinets, floor and everything like that, that color right there. Yeah. This is going to be the wall color. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm gonna use the opposite end of the stir stick. Oh wow, that looks that looks awesome next to each other. Oh, I'm so excited. This white is Mystique by Valspar, and uh, my best friend, my college roommate, she has this in her living room, which is why I knew that this was a good white. So thank you, Bethany, for going through the trouble of finding the perfect white so I didn't have to. <laughs> There you have it, guys. Our uh, our second project of the house going into our guest room, and it looks amazing next to this royal blue and kind of regal-looking recliner. We're going to get a little end table down there to hold the lamp instead of a chair, and then obviously it ties in really well with our writing little nook over here and our cute little hamster. Thanks for sharing the journey, guys, and uh, yeah, I'll, I'll put the Christmas tree down soon enough. Oopsies. All right, see you next time. Bye.